Hey guys, it is NCS Fan 001 here for the road to my 497 Platinum Trophy. Today's game is Uncharted Tides Port Royale, or Royal, or however you wish to pronounce it. Uh, this is an Artifacts Monday game, as you can probably tell by the game design. Been a little while since I've done one of these. This is quite possibly the easiest one they've ever made, or it's definitely up there. You don't even have to finish the game. You can do everything on the easy difficulty, so the casual difficulty. It's just, it's a surprisingly very, very easy Platinum Trophy, even by Artifacts Monday standards. As long as you're following a guide, that is, you're going to be needing to follow a guide. So, as for the trophies in the game, all of these early trophies through this one, this Knight in Shiny Armor, everything through that is story-related, except that you don't even have to complete the story. Uh, in the end, I'm currently something like, there's like two more paragraphs left in the walkthrough to complete the rest of the game, so there's a little bit left, but all of those are story-related trophies they are going to be earned by completing, you know, 95% of the story. You have to complete three mini-games without skipping, which is extremely easy. Uh, just don't use the skip, it's pretty typical for one of these games. Uh, it's the same thing for this one. You have to win the two games against the pirates without using skip, but I think you can repeat them multiple times. Uh, so because of that, like, it's not really even that big a deal if you do fail. Then you have to... This one is a highly missable trophy. It's done fairly early in the game. I highly recommend backing up your save before doing this, as well as before doing this one. So just back up your save, and if you somehow manage to mess this up, you'll get another try at it. Then the collectibles, there are 32 of them. There are these, like, rose symbols, and like I said, there's about 32 of them. The only thing is, in this game, a lot of the time you can't go back to a lot of areas, so make sure to grab them the first time you go through any area. Uh, then you have to clear a hidden object puzzle without making a mistake, as well as three without using a hint, and a hidden object puzzle in under 30 seconds. Also, this is a story-related trophy down here. I don't know why it's at the bottom of the list. Uh, you don't even have to do the bonus chapter, by the way. But as for the hidden object puzzle trophies, there are... For this one, like, or for these three trophies, the three hidden object puzzles without a hint is very easy. And once you've cleared three without using a hint, you can use hints all you want on the later ones. You have to finish one in under 30 seconds, which can be done very easy while playing on casual difficulty because you can just rapidly click around the screen until you get everything. This is probably the hardest of the trophies in the game, just finishing a puzzle without making a mistake, just because a lot of them are randomized in this game, but there's a few that aren't, including this one puzzle that is in this trophy image. Let's see if I can pull that up. So it's this puzzle. It's it's maybe it's in the earlier half of the game, I believe, but that's a good place to do it because the PlayStationTrophies.org guide walkthrough thing actually shows where every single item is. So that's a good place to do it, and it's also a good place to do the 30-second one if you don't get it by just rapidly clicking around. So we're going to go ahead and sync up our trophies. Level 726%, 20,241 total trophies, 497 platinums, 2,898 golds, 5,433 silvers, 11,413 bronzes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you for the next one.